For all of you scorpion lovers out there, today I bring you scorpion feeding video. And yeah, for like three years since I moved from my apartment into a different dark dance, I finally got myself a chair for this table. And it is not like a regular chair, it is the, the bar stool, you know. It is kind of high up because this table is a bit higher than usual table because I wanted it to be a standing table, but still sometimes I want to rest my legs and so I can sit down. And now I have the chair, you see? This is the chair. All right, but that is not important for this video. What is important that today, as the title says, as I already explained, we will be feeding scorpions and exclusively scorpions only, nothing else, just scorpions. So even though I know that there is a lot of you that are big fans of scorpions and are asking for more scorpion content, uh, you need to be aware of that uh, majority of these scorpions are kind of reluctant, or how would you say that? But they often hide and they are not uh, as easily to be fed on camera as some majority of tarantulas because they don't like bright light and in order to get a good recording you need a bright light so therefore uh, just don't get your hopes up I will most likely be able to show you majority of scorpions but uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that we will have uh, a lot of successful videos and I don't have that many scorpions so First, we will start from one that you seen kind of recently because we rehoused it into uh, this enclosure. Oh, but before I show you the scorpion, let me show you who is the today's victim. Yeah, we will be using exclusively hissing uh, roaches nymphs. You see, I have a lot of them here, and I need to use them. <laughs> I need to spend them, and I don't really have any bigger scorpions that need. A bigger roaches but if some will okay never mind for this these bigger nymphs will be enough because you see we have all sizes that we need and I actually I will reduce the amount of paper things inside so I can catch them easily now it will be easier to catch the roaches and even though these roaches can climb the plastic you see unlike lateralis and dubias these can do that they are capable of but there's a talcum powder so once they reach that barrier they just fall down because they cannot cross it otherwise i would have roaches everywhere so scorpions first scorpion in this video it will be a heterometrus baby heterometrus species uh, you can see it kind of down there and as you know this is a baby from my big female that died like a year and a half ago this is the only baby that I have left but my friend that also got these roaches I gave him three and then after I accidentally left with only one uh, I told him like hey you know that three scorpions that I gave you can you kind of return me one please <laughs> yeah but of course he he said not the problem anyhow let's grab one roach and let's see if we can lure the scorpion with it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh no. Well, this is awkward beginning of feeding video. The scorpion escaped. It got spooked by the roach. But maybe there is still a chance. Yes, no. Ah, uh, I cannot believe. I'll just let it go inside. And the may oh, there is one pin here. A flashlight. If we can see so oh, there's the scorpion. See, I'm shining it with the UV lamp. Where is your roach, buddy? Buddy? <laughs> oh, look where he is. Look how capable these roaches are. Uh, you see, this is why I love lateralis roaches and dubias, because they cannot really do that. They cannot climb plastics like these guys. Let's give it one more try. Mm. Okay, this just won't work. Let me at least show you the scorpion for all of you that don't know how it looks. There it is. This is our spooked little guy. <laughs> they are cool looking, but I'm already annoyed by it. Maybe it is in a pre-molt, it would be cool if it would molt, but I am used to them refusing food. Okay, next scorpion, next scorpion. Uh, let me grab one. And this will be one bigger. 
It is thankfully currently outside. I am not sure if we will be lucky enough for this to continue. Ugh. But maybe. Okay, so far so good. Now to open the enclosure. Come on, chill out. Don't just run away, please. For the first time after a really, really, really long time, I have a chance to record this guy or a girl outside of its hole. This is awesome and you see how big this scorpion got. It was much smaller when we originally put it inside of this enclosure and now it is a decent size. So let's get him something but I don't have a big enough approach for him here so I will need to grab something else. Just a sec. I decided to grab something else. I grabbed a worm, not a roach. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, stinging action, stinging action. Oh, this is so nice. I cannot believe that I actually recorded this. <laughs> Look how it is holding the, the worm. But worm is still trying to escape. I think that the worm is holding on to the, to the substrates. But the scorpion is holding on. Uh, I don't think that they even mention it. But this is the, the Hadrurus arizonensis, I believe, that that is the scientific name of this scorpion. Or the common name Giant Desert Scorpion or uh, Hairy Giant Desert Scorpion, Arizonian Desert Scorpion, something along that line. And I believe that it will grow far greater than, far bigger than this. Oh, there is some struggle going on. There was another, another sting action. The super worm is not giving up. <laughs> He's still trying to escape. But I think that... Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, the scorpion, as you see, it is trying to penetrate the worm. And I think that it finally managed to do that. Although the worm is still moving. <laughs> still wiggling a bit. Well, this was kind of dramatic. <laughs> dramatic for sure. And hey guys, I heard you like dust on my enclosures. <laughs> it would be cool to actually witness scorpion eating the roach. At least starting to eat the roach. But I think that we will need to wait a bit for that. Let me just quickly grab a macro lens since the scorpion is so out and about. I need to use this opportunity for sure. So this is... A scorpion head? <laughs> Those are the eyes, but I have no idea what are these. These also look like eyes, right? Here is the superworm struggling. Yeah, trying to survive, but the grip from these pincers is just too strong. Yeah, sorry buddy. Let's see if we can get the stinger on shot. Well, there it is. <laughs> And now I can actually see how many hairs there are. No wonder that they are called a hairy desert scorpion. You see a lot of hairs on its tail. Especially on the, on the tip of the tail. It looks so spiky. Interesting. Oh, it looks like we are starting to eat it. You see those nibblers. I don't know how they are called, but... They are like small pincers that are used for cutting the prey. Yeah, you see? There we go. Now we can get a close-up of the action. And I'm still pretty far away. I will go closer in a second. I just want some, some shots from this angle and hopefully... Uh, I just want to be extra careful because I never managed to record this in this detail with this species. Whoa. Whoa, you see how they are working. No, mm. oh, no, no, don't go in your hole, please. Stay out there. Yeah, it looks like the scorpion is looking for its hide. Stay outside, please. Yeah, unfortunately I was right. I, oh, damn. But this was more than, more than I initially expected. Usually this one is never outside. So I was super 
uh, surprised that it was actually outside when I was out there to pick the enclosure. Although I expected it to just bolt in the hide as soon as I would pick the enclosure, but it didn't. We got a nice clip. Nice. Okay, let me bring you another species. I will continue the desert theme. We have three more here, desert scorpions. And I have more over there. First, we will take this active body. <laughs> you see it is trying to climb the, the acrylic, but thankfully scorpions cannot do that. And this is the, the Latin name, the scientific name. Now we are getting into dangerous territory because these scorpions, the venom from these scorpions is not a joke. It probably wouldn't be fatal to me, but if they would sting a child or an elderly person, mm, that wouldn't end well. Just like it won't end well for this roach. Or maybe, no, <laughs> you won't survive. Oh, you see how it is searching for exposed area to stung, to sting. But it cannot. You you need to go to the underside, yeah, from over there, buddy. The underside of these roaches is thinner and much easier to penetrate. Although it seems that the grip from its pincers is more than enough. Or... Oh. Hmm, more attempts. <laughs> He's really trying to get to sting the roach, but it cannot. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is actually hilarious. Ah, I think that he got it in the head. Oh yeah, it is already starting to eat the roach. Yeah, you see the nibblers are activated. Macro lens, macro lens. Oh, it is going to town to its head. Continue to nibble down the roach, please. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. We lost another one. But I am not complaining. Two out of three attempts successful. That is already more than I expected. Now, next one, Leirus hengi. You can see it right there. Interestingly, they are all outside. You guys are so lucky today. This is usually not the case for sure. You can see every species. This is amazing. But let's see if we can get another successful attempt. Oof. Uh, close enough, I guess. It seems that this one is a little bit spooked. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Interested? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Another success. What is this? Great. And this one had far easier job to sting the roach because the belly was already exposed. The underside of the roach was already exposed to the, to the stinger. Mm -mm -mm. We can jump to next scorpion because that one is already on the move. As you can see, it actually molted, but I think that it molted like a week and a half ago, if I'm not mistaken. This is the letter name is Parabutus Slechteri. Yeah, that's the one. Hopefully it had time to dry up. So I mean to harden up so it can grab a meal, but we are going to see that in a sec. Thankfully, it is not trying to hide, but it is actually just walking around. That's a good sign. <laughs> well, this was interesting. I think the scorpion is not ready, but still. I love how the roach was uh, crawling under the scorpion as the scorpion was moving. Better luck next time, but you can have a good look, a closer look at the scorpion. These desert ones are good looking, but let me get the roach outside before it escapes. And I will also take out the, the molt. Now this one will be exciting to see because this is a big female of another Androctus species. And it is really, really big. But I never seen her grab a prayer in my life. I'm confident to say that she won't grab it for this video. But still, we will try. I know that she eats because the roaches disappeared during the night. But whenever I drop the roach, nothing happens. She just doesn't care about roaches at first. Therefore, I will give her a small one. Maybe that's the catch. This actually looked optimistic, but I think it will end up there. This is the fat tail scorpion and 
You can see from where that name is coming from. Their tail is kind of fat. Yeah, fat tail scorpion. There you have it, but not really interested in food scorpion. And this is also a fat scorpion. This is a female, an adult female that never molted in my care. I have her for more than a year, a year and a half-ish. I'm not, yeah, I definitely have her for more than a year and a half. And ever since I got her, she was fat, just like this. And she keeps being fat. <laughs> but that is all the action that we will get from her, unfortunately. <laughs> the roach is actually using her as a hide. Interesting, he can just flex to his friends that he got a scorpion for a height. That sounds like a nice flex, at least in the roach world. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I will leave that roach inside and it will be gone by tomorrow. Now, as we are reaching almost the end of this video, let me show you one most likely failed attempt in communal enclosure. This, you know, if you remember, it is enclosure that houses uh, 10 or I think 11 dead stalker scorpions. At least that is originally how many I put inside. But I don't see them. I have no idea if they are alive, how many there are alive, where are they. Through the year I found a couple of dead scorpions, but that was only like two or maybe three. And they weren't like killed, they were just dead. I have no idea what actually happened. Because conditions in this enclosure are the same as in all other scorpion enclosures. There is nothing different here. So that is all that I can tell to you. And this is, this is the real skull, a real raccoon skull that I received from a subscriber. But still, you see, I'm regularly dumping roaches inside. And I'm not really sure if they are like eaten, half eaten, or they just died from the heat and uh, lack of humidity inside. This, this one looks to be eaten, right? Also you'll see uh, lateralis roaches, I mean lateralis roach remains. But I cannot see the scorpions, I cannot find any. You know how usually when you have a failed communal, uh, you end up with one specimen that is like super big. Honestly, I wouldn't mind that here. I mean, I would prefer to have many dead, sc dead stalker scorpions, but even having one dead stalker scorpion is cool. So now I would gladly take that thing, but it looks like there's no one at home, which is really shame. But this leads us to final scorpions. Although before I show you dead scorpions, I want to show you one tarantula because it is outside and this one it is not really often seen in the videos. Oh, look, it is Lampropelma viola ceopes. Ooh, this is such a cool shot. Really impressive looking. I know that I said that this video will be exclusively about scorpions, but I cannot miss this opportunity. Tapinohenius violaceus, right by, besides the <laughs> Heteroscodera maculata. But there is one roach that she didn't eat. Hmm. Okay, let me grab the scorpions. But they were recently featured in a video because we rehoused them in this enclosure. And this is actually a communal setup, a communal setup that works. These are the... Hmm, what is the... Oh, I cannot remember. Okay, I will just write it down. I cannot remember this, the name. <laughs> Okay, interesting, but let's feed them. We don't need the Latin name in order to feed the scorpion, right? Come on, grab it. I know you want it or not. Okay, I guess someone else will grab it. Maybe you want this one? Come on, hey, so rude. I need to find some other scorpions. There should be 10 inside. All of them are under this cork bark, at least one, because one is under this cork bark, but the rest should be right here. <laughs> and there they are. I'm not sure if they will be up for feeding now, since I exposed them to light, but I'm going to try anyway. Here is the offering that I have for you. Ah, oh, the scorpions. <laughs> Are we really going to end the video like this? Without the feeding clip? Well, it sure be fitting. <laughs> Although, regardless, this was a really successful video. We had so many takedowns and even if we don't get it from this species... Come on, grab the damn roach. Anyone. 
Come on, give me the takedown. Please, please grab that roach. Someone, anyone. There is three of you around the roach. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's put the cork down and let's end the video. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe by Apple every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye. -bye.